The Zugu case has spots to both charge and store the Apple Pencil. It has eight adjustable notches for different viewing angles, a felt cover to protect from scratches, and on Amazon it has over 4,200 five-star ratings. And it also has a tab on the side for easy opening. Check it out in the link below. Salute to you soldiers, my name is Josh General 55 and today I am very, very proud to show you that I got my hands on an Apple Pencil. So without further ado, let's get started. The Apple Pencil that I have right here is the second generation Apple Pencil, the one that was released alongside the 2018 iPad Pros, 11 and 12.9 inch. Um, this is the 2018 iPad Pro. It is also compatible with the 2020 iPad Pro, but no other models below it. So if it's like the 2018 regular iPad or iPad Air 3 or anything below that, it won't work with it because they do not have this special feature right here, which is the little tiny charging dock. Um, what I really like about the second generation Apple Pencil is that it magnetically attaches to the side of the iPad. This is where it charges and this is also where you can store it. Um, it's leagues ahead of the first generation where you would plug it into the charge port and it would kind of just, you know, be hanging out there. It was very, very dangerous. It could snap off. Um, this is where it was meant to be. It feels so much more right, so much better, um, way more advanced. As far as the battery size of the Apple Pencil, it is not really listed on the internet, but I can confidently say that within reasonable use, it'll last you a very long time. Um, in my personal experience, I've uh, been able to charge it up in roughly 15 minutes. It's not that big of a battery, and that was from all the way dead. Um, and I was able to use it. I mean, I've never had it die on me. That's, that's pretty much as much of a consumer perspective as I can get for you. But let's go ahead and jump into the features of the Apple Pencil 2, and it is more than just a really cool stylus. One of the initial features that you can do with the Apple Pencil 2 is when your iPad is in sleep mode, or if it's just at the lock screen right here, you can take the Apple Pencil and just tap right here and it automatically creates a new note. Um, this was a very useful feature for me, you know, so I don't have to unlock my iPad, especially with, you know, your mask on, it's not gonna work with Face ID. And I can just tap here, write down some stuff that I need to, whether someone's telling me something, or I'm writing down some sort of passcode or special instructions because my memory's not that great. Anyone who knows me can easily confirm that. But as far as the overall user experience goes for the Apple Pencil 2, I love this thing. Um, because the gap or the air gap between the LCD and the glass is so thin, it feels almost identical to a regular writing utensil. Um, the 120 hertz screen makes it feel even more lifelike. There's almost no latency and I mean, it's just, it's breathtaking. It's, that sounds like an exaggeration or like a fanboy comment, but believe me, if you know anyone who has this, please, please give it a try. It is, it is an experience I recommend for anyone, no matter how artistic or creative you may be. Um, one of the really cool features that uh, the Apple Pencil 2 can do is on the, it's about like on this section right here, there's a sensor that if you can see this right down here, when you tap it, it switches to eraser, and then you can erase all these, double tap it again, and it goes back to your writing utensil that you previously used. Now, there are certain um, settings that you can change within settings. Um, I don't know if this appears after you get an Apple Pencil or if it's just there, but I noticed it after I got the Apple Pencil, so I think it just adds it once you get one. But you can go into here and you can choose what happens with the double tap feature. You can have it switch between the current tool and eraser, it can have you switch between the current tool and the tool you last used. Or can, you can have it show the color palette or you can just turn it off. I have it with eraser because I make a lot of mistakes. Something else that's really cool you can do is if you slide diagonally or kind of in an odd motion from either of the bottom two corners, it can take a screenshot. So you go like this, it takes a screenshot. And if you go from this corner, it also takes a screenshot. It doesn't do it from any of the top corners. Um, those are just, I, I don't know, I guess you wouldn't normally swipe from that area anyway. But another cool feature is the Apple Pencil actually, it kind of turns off in a way. Um, so if you have the batteries widget open, you can see that the Apple Pencil reads off a battery percentage 
and um, if it if you leave it untouched for long enough, this disappears. It kind of just turns off to save battery, and then once you pick it up, once it senses, I think, movement or touch, um, it turns itself back on. So as soon as you touch it, um, it'll be ready to use. Now, you might be wondering, what is the difference between this and any other stylus you can get on the market? Well, it's not necessarily the biggest difference in the world. This is a bit more of a glorified stylus than anything else. Um, it's more just for its features and show, but um, there are some features that more creative types would find extremely useful. So not only would the double tap save time and you know convenience by going down and selecting the eraser every time, um, it also has a tilt feature. So as you can see, as the pencil is straight up, you know, it goes like a really thin line, but if you tilt it, it starts shading like you would with an actual pencil. And this works with almost every utensil. You know, the highlighter, it's thin, and then you turn it and it turns really, really wide. And uh, I think the same thing happens with the ink as well. Okay, now the, the ink, well, it gets a little bit bigger, but not a whole lot. Uh, the ink is one of the things that you might not see the biggest difference on. But um, this has pressure sense, so this is gonna be a little bit hard for me to show on camera, but I'm gonna slowly press down and the pencil should get darker as I go along. So I'm gonna lightly press and then press harder. There, that, that, been, that, that was actually pretty easy. But as you can see, it's a lot lighter on this area right here than it is right there. So you can use pressure sensitive for different types of shadings if you're just doing uh, sketches and drawings that don't involve any color, except, you know, the darker palette like this. Um, and you can just do this for different layers of notes. If you don't want to constantly switch between colors or anything like that, you can have like important notes and dark coloring and then regular notes and bullet points and like lighter coloring, whichever you like. The Apple Pencil does work with most touch functions. Uh, you can navigate your home screen with it. You can't do some of the uh, um, user-related functions like going down from Control Center. You can't really do that with the Apple Pencil. You can swipe down Spotlight Search, um, but you can't do notifications. I'm not sure why. Uh, and you can't swipe up from apps. It might be bec uh, to like uh, prevent you from accidentally you know, if you're drawing, you don't want to accidentally bring down Control Center or something like that. It might be the cause, um, or they just haven't implemented that. I'm not quite sure yet. But you are able to tap into certain apps. You're able to do most of the functionalities that you normally could with the Apple Pencil and navigate in certain ways. You can't scroll... Oh, oh we're learning new things every day. You can scroll on the widgets bar over here. Sometimes it activates the search bar, maybe if you go like in between them on accident. Um, it's not allowing me to do that anymore. Um, it is really useful in certain Microsoft Word and um, other types of documents such as that. So like you can just type something and all of a sudden you take it off, circle something and put it back on and start typing again. Um, it's a very, very neat tool. But as far as, you know, versatility goes, no, not versatility. Uh, from a consumer s standpoint, I wouldn't necessarily say it's 100% the best on the market. I will say it has some really cool features and things that are very useful and things that are very cool and compatible, but I will say it's not necessarily the clear choice as far as styluses are concerned. You could definitely get like, I don't know, any Logitech or any other stylus and you'd be perfectly fine with it because the refresh rate and the low latency and the super thin screen makes any stylus experience extremely enjoyable. It's just with this, you know, there's a bit of Apple magic involved with that, you know, where it attaches and charges and it's, it will be definitely the most convenient, but you know, at, you get what you pay for and as you choose like cheaper options or other things like that, you start to lose some of those conveniences, but like I said, the stylus experience overall will still pretty much be the same. You'll be able to do what you need to do without any hindrance. All right, and that's gonna do it for the Apple Pencil 2 features and specifications look at. If you like the video, I would greatly appreciate a like down at the bottom. If you'd like to release any comments on my videos, you know, telling me what you like, what you didn't, um, I would be more than happy to respond to any of those. And if you have any suggestions for any videos, I will definitely be taking any suggestions I possibly can. Um, I do have some exciting news. I am planning on building a computer very, very soon. Um, this has been a very long time in the making, but I actually, I have a lot of the parts. The last thing I need is a GPU. Yeah, the one of the most expensive parts, but that is coming very, very soon. Um, I plan to release a video on that and that will allow me to play a ton of games and do more efficient editing 
And so um, keep your eyes peeled and keep that bell on, and you'll see that coming down the pipeline very, very soon. But that's all I have for now. Remember to take it easy, keep it breezy, and don't forget to laugh a little. At ease, soldiers.